Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Last Epoch, Runes of Power, shall we? So, this game, I've heard a lot about it. I understand it's kind of like a Diablo-style ARPG, and I'm really pumped to play it. I know I've heard from some of you friends out there in the community that have already played this and are enjoying it. I got a key from the team, and I'm excited to look into the game. And let's start for the very first time right now. Um, I am going to play offline because it said that their servers were experiencing some issues. So just in this kind of like early look at the game, I'll just do this to make sure I don't have any uh, connection problems. So what are my choices? I could, well, wait a minute now. Um, I could be a rogue. Uh, I could be the uh, Sentinel. I could be the Primalist. And there is an Acolyte. She's angry. And then there's this, like, floating mage. Well, guess what? I'm generally a spellcaster of some type, and I always want to see what it plays like. So, let's be a mage. We're an Elder cresting his prime. The mage wields the power of the arcane to make up for his past wrongs and to give the world a new future. All right, so I'm atoning for some indiscretions I made in my youth as a spellcaster. Understood. Okay, this is going to be Dr. Incompetent, and we're just going to roll with it. And uh, this is going to be a standard character. Uh... Challenges, character found. No, 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 let's just go regular. I am the mage, raised in the scholarly city Welrin, and trained in the arcane arts. I became one of the elders. I took on an apprentice to whom I showed kindness and compassion. This was folly. She grew rebellious, entertained dark arts, and was exiled. My guilt over her fate drove me to leave Welrin. Years I spent searching for her, only to hear that Welrin was conquered by the sun god, Rye. Now I travel back to Welrin, determined to fix my mistakes. So maybe the Acolyte is his apprentice. I don't know. It might have even said that and I didn't notice. All right, so uh, here we are. All right, so game looks pretty good. Uh, I'm moving around. Oh, it's a click to move situation. Interesting. All right, so I'm These holding down left click. Not kind to my bones. But I must hurry. Wellrin is still a few days away. Uh oh. All right, I was trying to use the game pad. Uh, let's see. Controller enabled. Um, no, 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 it's not working right. Okay, never mind on the controller. Let's just use the mouse and keyboard. All right, let me hit you with the right click. And let's see here. I'm shocking him. All right. Cast your abilities by pressing the action button to sign to the skills. Locate, oh my God, here. Okay. Take the zap, buddy. Uh, uh oh. I gotta tell you, um, I was using, like, basic attack, and then I realized that Lightning Blast did so little mana that I didn't even need to worry <laughs> about a basic attack. So I wonder if I can, uh, yeah, give me this as my right click, because it's awesome. Oh boy. In the hands of a fallen messenger, you find a letter from the Keeper's Council. It is addressed to you. Traveler, our Heoborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. Raya's war has reached our lands, and we are in need of aid. Okay. As Keepers, we avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. Raya. She wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. 
We can't let that happen. We need Herod's help. Your help. Take the messenger's letter. All right, so I got to tell you, um, I know it's, you know, you see the health orb and the mana orb and the click to move and right click to attack and all that, and you feel Diablo. Um, I, I don't right now. I feel more, you know, Path of Exile. I, I, but, I mean, I know that's not really much of a difference, but I feels... It doesn't feel like Diablo 4. I'll tell you that much. That phoenix is breathing fire in my face, and I don't like it. Alright, we gotta run. How much range, actually, do I have on this? Good range. So I was like... It's longer than you'd think, so I can hold down shift and not move. I don't appreciate these meteors at all. I got a fireball, buddy. The, the phoenix is like, fireball? Are you kidding me? And I'm kind of like, well, I mean, it could be good, just not against you. Why do you have to be wearing armor? It's so rude. Got him. Ooh. He had some blues. My dude had some blues. All right, so. Let me look at my inventory. I already equipped it. 10 melee damage, 24 armor. There you go. Oh, no, no, equip this. There you go. It has plus 49 armor down underneath, and then this... Oh, I, I started with a staff. Okay. This is better than my staff. It's two-handed. I mean, at least in terms of damage. All right. So I got some kind of fireball that I can do. All right. I went into the menu, and I think I got the controller working. It just feels like I want to try this with a controller. I really enjoy playing these, actually, nowadays with a controller. I've never liked click to move. I like being able to walk around with an analog stick. Um, and so now, you know, I have these abilities mapped to buttons... And that feels great. Look, I know you're like, Mr. I don't care about fire, but I have fire. So deal with it. Alright. Oh god. Highland Bear of Rage. Um, please don't enrage. There's no need. He's enraged. He was very angry. I think I tried to click offline play and I don't know if it's possible or the chat is just happening anyway. So there's that for you. Okay. Here I go. All right. Well, I gave them a little of the proverbial what for. The burning forest. All right, somebody tells me a fireball might not be the best in this area. Okay, let's roll. Fight through the Osperic forest. I will. Scorched crawler, he says. I'm going to zoom in so I can get a really good look at these scorched crawlers. I avraye. Oh god, okay. I wanted to read that, but we've got problems. The bodies are burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing. Yeah, they, they look really burnt. Alright, zoom out a little bit.
Ow. Why would I stand there in the fire like that? What have I done? Oh, a ring. Give me a gimme, gimme, gimme. What's the jade ring? Um, inventory, I guess. Nineteen dodge. I mean, put it on. Good. Blessings. I ain't got nothing. Uh, let me try this. Oop. I keep pushing the wrong buttons because I'm not very bright. Let me try this again. Go to uh, skills. What do I got? Skill system introduction. Viewing augment trees. Click on a skill. Use a new skill. Click on the action bar slot to access the skill panel. Specializing in skills. You can specialize in up to five skills by clicking an unlocked specialized uh, specialization slot located above which unlock as you level up. Specializing in a skill will allow you to gain skill points for that skill by earning experience which you can use to empower and augment it. Alright, um, for example, uh, do I have any points here? Like here's lightning blast, I have it. Here's fireball. Fireball says 62 damage per second and it's better than lightning. It costs zero mana. Oh. So this is just like a better basic attack. Oh, no, they both cost zero mana. Oh, well, I swear on the tooltip it said it cost three. Anyway, okay. Um, good. Did I have that? All right. Um, but I don't have that many points to spend. Uh, ladder, map and quest, character, crafting and passives. All right, let's keep going. We're early days. Yeah, nothing does cost mana from these abilities. That's cool. Oh, look at this person coming in to help me out. Oh, we got a warrior sword. Hi. When you arrived, was there a family? Uh, yes, they're gone now. My mistake. I can handle offsprings. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it. And they left. It's war, you can't save everyone. Can't. Are you also here for the peace talks? That's right. Because so am I. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? That's great, man. I wonder which of us will take down more Ospricks. Me. Come, let me watch you fight. Please do. Alright, I've leveled up, apparently. Um, but I don't know exactly what that means. I got Snap Freeze, and it does cost mana. Freeze enemies in a cone in front of you. Okay, cool. Unlocked with character level. Unlocked by spending points. Oh, maybe maybe it's on my character screen. This is where I have some points to spend or something. No? No, that doesn't look like that's where that is. Passives. Gaining passive node points. Gain passives by leveling up and completing quests. Currently you have access to your base class passives. You will have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Once you choose a mastery class, you will gain access to the left section of each mastery and the right section of your chosen mastery. Okay, so let me try that again. Um, passives. Right, right, right. So I know this. Alright, so do I have any points here? Um... One unspent point, so I could spend it on Scholar, more health and mana, Elementalist, more damage, Arcanist, more intelligence, uh, and then if you go into Elementalist, it kind of leads into these things. These just happen at level 5, you get access to this. Uh, let's just do um, M-O-A-R damage. There it is. All right. Yeah. 
Alright. I froze him. You see that, Grail? You're not even doing anything close to that. I need these boots. Yes, we can do that. Don't be limited. Smoke. It was a genius plan that I had until the other guy spawned. You got lucky there, Grail. Alright, let me go to my uh, inventory. And then say, okay. Uh, we've got this sword. Uh, can we compare it? Yeah. You lose spell damage and spells cost more. Oh, maybe my spells do cost something, but my staff makes them free. This is just a bunch of health, so we'll equip it. Uh, wait, I'll go back to this and compare it. Movement speed, heck yeah. see here. Go up this way. Hmm. I don't really think we probably need to go this way, but I'm going this way. Traveling coat for me. Where'd you learn to fight? Uh, ooh, we unlocked a specialization slot. This will allow you to empower your chosen skill through the augment tree. Okay. Um, Elemental Nova unlocked. Okay. First of all, let's look at our inventory. Let's see. Do I have any gloves on? I do. So this is probably fine. Let me go over to um, skills. And yes, you could see up here. Uh, unlocked with character skill. Here's Elemental Nova. Um, okay, it's left trigger, right? And then, let me go back, let me go to the passive tree, and we have a point to spend. So I guess I spend it again over here. And then, go back. What's this? 200 increased stun chance. Alright, sure. Stun him. Uh -oh. oh my god, it's spinning at me, dude. You have to stop it. Only you can stop it. I killed it. Well done. It, it was well done. You're lucky I'm in the group. Keepers have proven difficult to track, but my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. Is there? They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. 
They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Raya wills it. God, this guy's voice. I was I feel like I was just playing a game that had this voice actor. I can't think of it. It's a good voice. All right, we got golden experience. Bam. The food's gone, they say. Well, maybe you shouldn't have eaten it all. Oh, look at that. Delightful creature. Here, Ots offered protection. More than protection. An alliance. But the truth is... We know little about him, or his people. Why should the council trust him? I mean, that's a good question. Prospect two. He cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. He forms alliances, wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Raya. Thus. I propose we accept this alliance. It is not in our nature, but we keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Mm. Without Herod's help, our efforts might prove fruitless. All right then. What's up, dude? Sounds like their leaders waiting up at the shrine. Good. The keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. Who are the keepers exactly? The group tied closely with our goddess Etera. They've been indebted to her, but why we do not know. Okay. It's these mysteries that interest the Osprix. Whatever secrets the keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. Raye. Now we speak to the Keeper Council. Speak it. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. Yeah, I get to look around because I'm in control, Grail. Hi. That guy's like, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, then. Don't. What's in that box? It could be anything. Uh, is this a waypoint? Looks about like it. What's this brain? Hello, traveler. Ah, okay, I can re-specialize mastery points. I didn't even think I'd put any mastery points, so there's that. Yeah, I need to sell some junk. Hi. Brought some goods from the homeland. Interested in taking a look? Yeah, let's see what you got. All right, so for currently, I need to be like... Wait, no, I want to wear this. Can I sell this to you, though? Um... Let's see. What's the easiest way to sell this to you? Ah, the X button. Wonderful. Um, oh, it's a relic. I've got nothing equipped, so I might as well put it on. Are these the same as the gloves that I have? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. No. Um, put that one on. Oh, can I only wear one? Here, put it on over here. There you go. Dodge it. Treat yourself to some dodge. Alright. Now let me look at your stuff. What you got? You have an assassin's traveling staff. It just gives you crit bonus. Nah, I don't think I'm going to buy anything. What are these scrolls? Oh, it's a relic. Gives, gives you spell damage. How much money do I have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy this. And then we'll equip it. And then we'll sell that. Sweet. Right. That's pretty good. Keeper Lena's just up ahead. She's busy speaking with the Hebordian ambassador about the peace talks. 
What are these peace talks? The Keepers are in need of aid. We're not strong enough to fight off Raya's forces. The Hebordians offered an alliance. It's likely too late for that now. I'll speak with her. I'm Thank really cool. Too. She'll like what I can make magically. Sounds like this is where we part ways. Good luck out there. Uh, okay. I had a good luck, buddy. I had a few questions. Yes. Something you need? So you work for Herod? I don't work for him. I'm his champion. Why? Champion? What does that mean? It means I've fought hard and climbed my way to the top. So you're a go-getter, type A. Herod himself taught me everything I know. As such, I dedicate myself to him, an extension of his will. That's a good idea. You certainly seem like a, a hero with that kind of blue paint on your face. Glad you think so. Everything I do, I thank Herod. Okay, then. He made me what I am. And what is that? The person who's going to end this war. Wow. Take Raya down and make him rue the day he dared mess with us. Yeah, why would he mess with us? Go for it. Let's move on. I don't think that guy can move on. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. Hi, Lena. One of two. There should be more of us here. I assume something happened? Yes. Balthus and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. Um, what do you want? Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. Well, can you tell me about the artifact? Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. This seems kind of important, but I I'm doing you a favor. You are, and I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. This artifact, if I just push this button on it, it kills you and every one of your kind. Do you see how nice this is going to be? Now, once you make the alliance, um, we're going to push the button together. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. I can't reach into the skies. Can his guards help him? They can, but... Baltus is impulsive. I worry he'll do something stupid. Oh, me too. You don't trust him? Sure I do. With your help. Right. Do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Boria's army. You'd better. Sounds like I've got work to do. Alright, so I have a quest to enter the forest... Or the fortress gardens. Now, we like gardening, so we will protect them with a fortress. Sweet. Alright, so I've got a bunch of new skills. I sold some stuff. The quest is underway, and I'm ready to... You can now use your portal to return to the last visited town. Yeah, because I got a... Um, I zap things. I got access to the town portal there. Cool. Well... This is a nice first look at the last epoch. I'm a mage. I got a blue coat. I got to atone for my past. We got to stop Raya. I met somebody with blue face. There's a missing member of the Alliance. And now I'm in a beautiful garden. So I'd love to know what you all think of this game so far. Are you playing the last epoch? What are your thoughts and impressions of what you've seen? Does this look like a kind of game you want to play? Does it look any different from Diablo, you know, um, Path of Exile, other RPGs that, in such a fashion that it sets it apart and makes it desirable? Let me know what you think of the game below, and I'll check you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.